Well, hello everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Kat, and I'd like to welcome you to my tiny little kitchen. Today we're going to do a, another soup recipe since it is soup set season and it's awfully cold today. It's only 28 degrees with a wind chill of 18 here in Ohio. A warm soup and a sandwich with it is a great idea for dinner. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to do a Texas tomato soup. This is one of Mike's all-time favorites. It's a very easy one and I think you'll like it. It's very delicious. Thank you for coming along. Now let's get cooking. So to get started today we're going to do um, something a little bit different here. I'm going to add about five cups of tomato juice. We have a total of six cups from the grocery store, but I'm going to add five cups to my pan and reserve about a cup of it because I have to do something with the garlic. I've got uh, my, I'm going to set my oven at about five, which is a medium. And once I get that going here in a minute, I'm going to actually add some more ingredients. So, to the pot, I'm going to add a pinch of Mike's pepper. And when I say pinch, I really mean pinch. You probably can't see this. I got these uh, measuring spoons for my dear friend Donna and um, as a Christmas present one year. And they do literally say a smidge, a pinch, a dash, and a nip. And I love them. I keep them out all the time. So to that, I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. And if you hear that beeping in the background, that's more peppers drying. Then I'm also going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then the last ingredient, which is the garlic, I have two tablespoons of roasted garlic here that I'm going to put in my food processor. And I'm going to move you guys so you can see it here. So I'm going to add the, the tomato juice that I left had left over and then I'm going to add my two tablespoons of roasted garlic. It's about 25 small cloves that I'm using so I'm going to add that in there and then we're going to go ahead and turn that on and let that garlic grind up. Get it all nice and smooth in there. It's still working. I can feel it jerking a little bit, which means it's still working. And we're done. So now I'm going to take what I've got here all blended up. And I'm adding that to the soup. And then my last ingredients, which I did not get out, so hang on, I'll be right back. I'm adding a can or a quart of diced tomatoes. Now, if you get your diced tomatoes from the store, it's probably two 15 ounce cans that you're going to want to use. Just going to stir this up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring this to a boil. I won't, we won't stay here and watch the soup because like I always say it's like watching water boil. So we are going to get this uh, boiling and then I'm going to reduce it back down to a medium, medium heat and let it simmer for about 30 minutes just to make sure that I get that garlic good and cooked. And that's it. I will be back to taste it and probably just plate it up for you. We'll be back. The soup's done. It tastes very good and if you're noticing that it's a little lower than it was when I started that's because Mike couldn't wait. He was really hungry. And I have to get out of his way because he wants even more. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see more of my recipes. You all have a good night and we'll have a photo for plating in just a minute.